Am I an accountant? Hello? <laughs> um. Welcome to All Things Wedding with a Knot, where we tackle some of your most urgent wedding planning questions. I'm Lewis. And I'm Sarah Hooper. Everyone around here calls me Hoops. If you're a bridesmaid in my wedding, should I label you as Hoops in the program, or what should we call you? Yes, Hoops only. Everything monogrammed. It should be an H. Skip the S. So it can be kind of tough or awkward asking your bridesmaids to pay for certain things. I mean, money is always like, kind of uncomfy, what do you do? I think most importantly, you just need to be honest. Number one, be honest, have those hard conversations, you know, talk to people about what's realistic for them because what's realistic for you or for your BFF might not be realistic for your potential sister-in-law. And then hand in hand with that, be upfront. Say, you know what, I really wanna to go to Vegas for my bachelorette. And that might not be in someone's budget, but if you're upfront from the beginning about it, they should have plenty of time to either say, it's not available for me or I'll start saving now. Another piece of that is like splitting bills or compromising. Maybe that Vegas Vegas bachelorette can just be like one night or maybe go to Atlantic City instead. Totally. And on average, you know, bridesmaids spend around $1,200 per wedding, but it can increase to $1,820 when you include other costs like alterations, bachelorette, the shower, travel, gifts. I mean, the costs really add up. Yeah. It's definitely not like a small investment. It's a high risk investment it's, being yeah. in a wedding. That's my. Am I an accountant? Hello? <laughs> um, so what exactly would a bridesmaid traditionally cover for Ooh, a wedding? This is a sensitive topic, I so know. I'm glad that we're breaking it down. Totally. People ask us about this all the time. Yes. Yeah. So traditionally, um, a bridesmaid or a wedding party member would mm. cover their hotel and travel. So that yeah. counts for if they're going to the wedding, like if it's a destination wedding, along with any bachelorette, hotel, and travel. Okay, cool. What about their wedding outfit, their attire? Would yes. they cover that? They absolutely would cover that. And I know they cover the bridal shower, right? Mm -hmm. Thinking about the bridal shower, mm -hmm. often the mother of the bride or the mother of the groom or you know someone's parent might throw the bridal shower, but this is a great example of when everyone in the wedding party can chip in and pay for something like the catering or whatever mm -hmm. the bride might want. Nice, so like splitting the cost. And the bridal shower gift too, you're gonna, you could all split that, see what you do with that. Yeah, typically t people do give a gift at the shower and a gift mm -hmm. at the wedding. Then there's the bachelorette party. I know the bridesmaids pay for that. Mm -hmm. Wedding gift too. The bridesmaids are going to handle their gifts. Yes. Um, I feel like those are the fun ones though. The bachelorette party, the wedding gift. So those are, those are the two that you actually get to like enjoy, have a little fun with. With all that in mind, what does the bride or the person getting married traditionally cover? Traditionally, um, the bride would cover bouquets or corsages okay. for the wedding party. So the bride picks up the bill on that. She grabs the flowers. Cool. Um, that is not expected for the wedding party to cover. Awesome. And what about a uh, pink stretch Hummer limo? The bride would cover that. Wedding day transportation is on the bride or the person getting married. Hair and makeup, what about that? I know there's kind of a little bit of debate on this one. Yes, totally. So traditionally, the bride would cover hair and makeup. However, mm. we definitely see the bride gifting that to her wedding party mm. as like, you know, I'm covering this for you. This is my gift, my thank you totally. for being in the wedding party. It's a fun little treat, a treat yeah. yourself moment. What about the accommodations? You know, thinking the night before the wedding. The bride typically covers that. Amazing. Yeah. Actually, hoops, this is wild. 50% yeah. of women have been a bridesmaid three to four times by the age of 27. That stat it's surprises crazy. me. How many times have you been a bridesmaid? I've been a bridesmaid one time and I'm 28, so I'm like way behind. Below average. <laughs> Below average, what about you? I've never done anything. Oh. I've never been in a wedding, sorry. I've never been in a wedding. <laughs> never um, done anything. Wait. I have been in a wedding, I'm lying. I was in my sister's wedding. Oh my God. Now that you've learned everything there is to know about us, about bridesmaids. Our experience in weddings. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Tune in next time to All Things Wedding. We'll see ya. Hi, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and return for new videos every single week. Don't forget to hit that like button. No, seriously, you should hit it now.